McLaren 650 successor dynamic testing on track. The upcoming 650 successor will achieve 0 to 124 miles per hour in 7.8 SEC and 124 to 0 miles per hour in 4.6 SEC. The McLaren 650's replacement, to be revealed at Geneva Motor Show next month, will use a new 4.0 liter twin turbocharged V8 and get upgraded brakes. The model, codenamed P14, will achieve 0 to 124 miles per hour in 7.8 SEC and a standing quarter mile in 10.3 SECS, and will come to a standstill from 124 miles per hour in 4.6 SEC and 117 meters, according to the Woking-based firm. That braking distance is 6 meters less than the 650s, and its replacement will get lighter, stiffer brake calipers and carbon ceramic discs as standard. McLaren has also developed a bespoke Pirelli P0 Corsa tire which, it says, provides a 6% improvement in mechanical grip compared to the 650s. A new video shows the car during dynamic testing driven by Chris Goodwin. It will be powered by a new 4.0-liter engine, which is expected to exceed the 641 bhp on the current 650s, and will be showcased by engine bay illumination when the vehicle is unlocked. McLaren also claims the new exhaust system creates a clean, crisp exhaust note to match the extreme performance of the engine, with the further option of a sports exhaust. McLaren Super Series boss Hayden Baker said, power, torque, and throttle response are all significantly enhanced compared to the first-generation Super Series, yet with fuel efficiency and emissions also notably improved. The brand has previously confirmed the model will get a new generation of active chassis control system which will give it the widest breadth of dynamic ability of any McLaren. Proactive chassis control 2 enables drivers to choose from comfort, sport, or track modes and, using sensors around the car including an accelerometer on each wheel hub, analyses inputs from the road to adjust the damping automatically. It also includes variable drift control which McLaren says will allow the ESC intensity to be controlled via a finger swipe across a control on the infotainment screen. McLaren P14 leaked online six weeks before debut, see image below. The car is due to be unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in March and will also be twice as aerodynamically efficient as the current 650s, according to the manufacturer. Product development boss Mark Vinnell said several aerodynamic technologies have contributed to the improvement, ensuring outstanding levels of grip and stability. An active wing extending across the full width of the second generation Super Series model moves upwards and increases in angle to optimize aero efficiency. The wing also deploys to its most extreme angle as an air brake in less than half a second. The car's cooling efficiency has also been improved by 15%, with increased airflow to the radiators through a new design of a dihedral door. Adopting technology first seen on the P1, Ducts within the door structures force air from the top of the doors down into the radiators and draw air out of the front wheel arches to create increased down force. The P14S monocoque, called Mono Cage 2, uses a T-bar shaped roof structure that allows for the extended dihedral doors, along with a wider entrance and lower sills for better access, similar to the iconic F1. The P14 will weigh 1,283 kilograms almost 200 grams less than its rival, the Ferrari 488 GTB, and 18 kilograms less than its predecessor. That weight reduction is largely due to the monocoque 2, which uses carbon fiber to offer an ultra-lightweight and immensely rigid architecture, according to the supercar brand. McLaren also claims the structure enables a lower center of gravity further sharpening the dynamic performance of the Super Series model. McLaren boss Mike Fluitt said, This is the first time we have replaced a product family. The new Super Series will be a revolutionary leap forward, both for our brand and the supercar segment. 
Super Series is the core of the McLaren business and personifies the blend of extreme performance, crafted luxury, and unparalleled driver involvement that is the McLaren heartland, he added. McLaren design director Frank Stevenson has previously said the P14 will be even crazier than the P1 hypercar. As shown by previous spy shots of a development car, the company's established hallmarks, such as the distinctive side-mounted air intakes and front bumper design, look to have been ditched for a new design, which makes use of LED headlight technology. The cabin is also expected to be overhauled, with a new and more intuitive control system. The production version of the P14, the first of McLaren's vehicles ever to be replaced, will be the first of the 15 new McLaren models due by 2022.